Hello, my name is Tracy Klingener. I'm the Director of Suicide Prevention Services at the Mental Health Association of Essex and Morris. COVID-19 has upended our lives, causing us to make everyday changes such as social distancing. We know it's social distancing. There's an increase in isolation, which is a big stressor for individuals, especially those prone to or struggling with mental illness. With isolation comes an increase in suicide risk. The more connected people are, the less likely they are to die by suicide. If you notice a change in a family member, a friend, a loved one, such as threatening to hurt or kill oneself, seeking access to means, writing or posting about death, dying, or suicide, if they're telling you that they feel hopeless or worthless or trapped, or if they've significantly increased their alcohol or drug use, if they're withdrawing from family and friends, if they're not taking your phone calls or participating and FaceTime or Zoom chats. These are all some of the signs that something more serious could be going on. By letting them know that you've noticed a change in behavior and are concerned and are checking in on them is a way to start a conversation and open the door for communication. During this time, technology offers many tools for us to communicate and to provide support to our loved ones and family members and to reduce the risk of suicide. If the person has a history of suicidal thoughts, have them reduce their access to means by locking up their medication and firearms. Although this doesn't make someone feel less suicidal, it makes it harder for them to act on their suicidal thoughts. If they have a plan, take them to your nearest emergency room. Let them know that together you will get through this. If the person doesn't want to talk, Provide them with the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline number at 1-800-273-8255. And if you're looking for additional information, please visit our website at www.mhaessexmorris.org or call us at 973-334-3496. We will get through this together and you are not alone.